would have said in my previous video in terms of the water uh, transmitting consciousness uh, moving spirit through water um, certain symbolism you would see the, the, the connection with the waters uh, the fountain of youth the, the, the uh, crystal river waters uh, different things like that right and so the waters depending on the quality of water that we take in uh, it actually affects the the connections that we the connection that we have with the current the current within the fields the bioenergetic fields um, I'm not saying that it is it is required like a hundred percent but <laughs> Should I, would I say that? Mm. I, I would say that it definitely it definitely makes a a complete difference. Um, the type of water that we actually take in. So structured water actually creates a, a, a much you actually notice it. Like when you drink it, you feel the water going into your brain. You feel the water moving into your body. It's a completely different experience. Um, the body starts to cleanse itself, uh, clears out certain toxins. You feel lighter. You feel clearer. You feel a stronger connection to your to your perceptions as well. Um, it's pretty interesting, and that structured water comes from like especially like uh, you're dealing with like spring water. You're dealing with river water. Anything that runs over like those um, like rocks even. Uh, I see some people actually create and construct certain types of um, water structuring devices. You could use like pipes and some people use like marbles um, or like even like crystal beads even, right? Anything that's circular, so water has this like meandering type of, um, sir, you know, serpentine type of flow to it, like how a current would flow, like how the Kundalini would flow. Um, yeah, and so the, 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 again, the energy that's coming in is, um, the, the flow of water, the, the quality of water that we take in helps us to actually integrate a lot of the energies that are coming in, um, We, we also have the ability to also bless the water as well, as Dr. Emoto would have shown, where you uh, put certain frequencies, certain intentions into the water. So at times what I would do is I would hold a glass of water and I would um, intend for like, um, like plasma flows or uh, the plasmic light to uh, embody within the water to, to uh, access the molecules of the water and I would add a visual you know a visual to that so I would see like the molecules interacting communicating um, I would see individuals when I drink it it interacts with my body it um, allows for a greater and a stronger connection to the currents within the atmospheres within the consciousness uh, to allow for the consciousness of my uh, morphogenetic field to actually interact with my conscious mind a lot more. Uh, certain things like that, right? Um, so yeah. So these are these are things that we, we can actually uh, achieve with our consciousness, with our mind once the, the knowing is is uh, is there. The the yeah, what some would call the faith is there as well. And yeah, but a lot, a lot of stuff is about to, about to take place within the physical reality. Um, the dreams, again, been showing me the parallels, been showing me like certain um, manifestations of uh, abilities as well. I mean, we know that in some cases, uh, they have even proven in, in certain layers uh, of the mainstream. Uh, well, is it mainstream? Mm, not really. I know Russian 
Russians have been discovering a lot of that in terms of light, photonic light and our DNA sequence and how uh, these photons actually activate the DNA into like third strand, uh, fourth strand. When you're dealing with like uh, certain modalities then like kilonic science and um, yeah, they, they talk about the accretion, right? Accretion of, of light which uh, activates or assembles the DNA, what we would consider to be junk DNA, but the cosmos don't make junk, so <laughs> yeah, right? Um, so that, that's another thing to be very, uh, very observant about in terms of what's going on in the world when it comes to the DNA, um, DNA manipulation, DNA mod modulation or um, amplification, but yeah, the frequencies. Um, I think there was an article that I, that I saved on my, that I bookmark on my browser about uh, DNA modulation and um, DNA signaling and stuff like that as well. So, uh, yeah, I'll send that. I'll try to try my best to post that. Um, but yeah, right. <clears throat> Yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video on a bit of stuff. Some of the advice I would actually let me let me do a if what the two do jit nala wa vum not the two love and balance to you all. Remember to stay in in balance within self, connect to the kingdom within. The more we we uh, take that outer focus, we, we, we remove the inner focus and we take focus on the outer. Uh, it is like a queen or a king before the kingdom, right? Connect to the inner, the, king, the kingdom within. And all will be manifest as the greater connection to the all. In abundance and love, wholeness.